This talon claw has very little hardware. Not too long ago, I made a video about my talon claw U. This used basically the hardware kit from my Caliburn U with the requisite pieces cut down. And it's a beautiful blaster. I love this blaster. However, why stop at one talon claw when I could have two? And I didn't want to buy another hardware kit if I could help it because I am frugal. Along comes the low hardware talon claw U by Silly Butts. Now, Silly Butts is a, I want to say, kind of a growing name in the Nerf internet community of designers. One of the nice things is that Silly Butts offers all of his designs for free, so I can't say no to that. The low hardware talon claw U is just what it sounds like. This is not exactly the lowest hardware that you can get, but it is quite low. The original design by Silly Butts, derived from Captain Slug designs as I understand it, basically requires the spring, O-rings, an O-ring for the pusher, and that's about it. Now on my version, I additionally have a regular talon claw or caliber and plunger tube instead of a printed one and a regular metal barrel instead of a printed one but both of those things are available as printed options with Silly's files. Oh and technically I guess you could count the rubber bands as hardware. Now if you're assembling this using as many printed parts as you possibly can I'm not going to say that it would be weak or that it would break immediately but I think by adding the few actual hardware components that I have that you get a much more reliable and solid blaster. In addition to Silly Butt's design, there's an additional designer who took those designs and modified them further. His name is Ian W. I don't think he has social media that I can link to, although he does post on Reddit. So I'll probably put a link to that. But basically, Ian W. has added this top third priming bar. The default design just has priming bars on the side. Those are printed, of course. And then Ian's design adds another one. Now, I have screws on both sides of the front grip here, and that's because my printer was just small enough that I could just barely print these flat bars. So I actually had to remove the, a little bit of the corners, and I wanted these screws so that the bars would stay in the grip a little bit better. Although, even without the screws, the bars stay in the grip very well. And you'll notice I did not add a screw for this top one. ENW also made a full-size, caliber and size version of his iteration of the files, and I'm planning to do one of those at some point as soon as I can find a resource to print the longer priming bars needed. But you'll notice that almost anything from the original talon claw design that used a screw or aluminum or things like that has been replaced with printed parts that are friction fit. So all of these screws along the side here, the larger screws and the smaller ones, the aluminum U-channels, and the aluminum flat bars, those are replaced with printed parts. And like I say, there is an option for a printed plunger tube and a printed barrel. The U-channels themselves are entirely friction fit, which is honestly amazing how well those lock together and do not budge whatsoever. The design has different options for the stock. I actually have a Nexus Pro stock on here. This is the standard buffer tube, although you'll notice it's pretty short. And compared to my other talon claw, the stock actually comes back a bit further. So I may go for a shorter stock at some point because I don't really need it to be this long. The talon claw U is basically my ideal length already. But basically what I'm trying to tell you is there are options and it's great to have options. The one thing that there's not really options for is the front grip. There's really just this particular one and different people may do different things. I kind of do a C-clamp like this, which works well for me, but it might not work well for everybody. Normally, the low hardware talon claw U uses a rubber band to give the sear pressure. I replace that with shock cord on mine because I figure it's stronger. And I was also looking at using shock cord for the mag release, although I think the rubber band on there is honestly just fine. Now, you might be saying, when you build a blaster with almost all printed parts, how well can it perform? Well, let me tell you, this actually performs every bit as well as my regular full hardware Talon Claw U. Now, just so you don't have to look up that other video, these both fire in the vicinity of 225 FPS. They're using K25 spring, 
and the prime weight is not bad at all. When I'm using these in a Nerf War, I can basically squeeze off shots nice and rapidly. So if you are looking for a relatively high FPS blaster, this might be something to consider. Silly's designs are free and you need only minimal hardware. You can get by with just O-rings, a spring, and rubber bands, essentially. I think that's amazing and I hope you do too. I have considered offering these in my Etsy store, Griffins and more, but I think the size makes it somewhat inconvenient to ship. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at a phenomenal blaster. Please consider giving the video a like and the channel a subscribe. It would go well to helping things out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.